So with Rafa Nadal planning his final season to be in 2024, he'd actually come out and spoken about a lot of things regarding his comeback to next year, also when he might retire next year potentially, also about Djokovic getting the record of Grand Slams this year in his absence. Let's go over and see what Rafa had to say. So this is what Rafa had to say in an interview with Movistar Plus. My dream is to play again, to be competitive again, not to win at Roland Garros or in Australia. The time I am in my life is very far away from challenging for major titles. I'm not saying it's impossible because these things change very quickly, but since Indian Wells last year, it has been a hard year and a half with no peace of mind at all. The results mask the reality of day-to-day -day life. Without surgery, I was not going to recover by stopping for a long time. I made the decision and apparently it turned out well. I'm not sure what I'm going to do in 2024 because of the way I am. I can't be clear. My way of facing the year changes depending on the objectives. I don't even have the need to respond to myself. My hope is in two months to know how and where I am. Yes, I can play, but not in a position to win at Roland Garros because maybe I would like a farewell to her. These are answers that I cannot give now. I can only hit with maximum caution without moving without the intensity to which I am accustomed. I have to contain myself all the time. I know I have to be careful. I have experienced many times of recovery and it's always boring, but it hasn't taken away my focus and attention from doing it day by day. Luckily, I've been able to play golf for weeks now. It's the only thing I can compete in today. It distracts me, and for me, it's necessary to compete. Then he went on to talk about Djokovic getting the slam record while, of course, he was away. And he said, I'm not frustrated for a simple reason. Within my possibilities, I've done everything to make things as good as possible. Yet Yes, you can live frustrated with 22 Grand Slams. For example, Novak lives it in a more intense way. For him, it would have been a greater frustration not to achieve it. Perhaps that is why he achieved it. So there you have it, Rafa Nadal coming out with some uh, some interesting words. You know, talking about Djokovic, of course, the slam race. He's not too bothered by that. Fair enough. I mean, he's always been sort of the second behind Federer. And then he got the slam record for a little bit. And then now Djokovic has got it. So... I don't think Raf is always, he hasn't been too bothered by getting the most slams of all time. He has the most French Opens of all time, and that's never going to change. No one's ever going to beat that record, so he's comfortable on the clay. And with all his records there that are unbeaten, he's coming back. Hopefully the Australian Open, then the French Open, then the Olympics. Of course, that's being played in France at Roland Garros, so on the clay courts as well. Clay court Olympics, very rare sight to see. And then who knows? I mean, he hasn't talked about Wimbledon, he hasn't talked about the US Open. Let me know down in the comments below. Are you excited to see Rafa come back? I mean, it's felt really weird without him. You know, we've had Djokovic doing Djokovic things, winning everything. Alcaraz has kind of filled the shoes of Nadal a little bit as well, you know, as that kind of Djokovic rivalry that Nadal used to provide for us. But what do you reckon? Do you think Rafa's going to play the entire season next year, or do you think he's going to retire maybe after the Olympics or after the French Open? 